together for Jesus. Come on, I want it loud. I want it loud. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Come on, put our hands together. Hallelujah. We are going contemporary this morning. Hey. So, yeah.
how great you are father you are the prince of peace you are our king of glory the mighty one the friend that is closer than a brother come on open your mouth and reverence him open your mouth and say something sweet to this father he is waiting to hear from you don't wait for his song he's waiting to hear from you come and say father i bless you not for all you're doing for me, but for who you are. Because he's still God in the good and the bad. He never changed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The God that sees me, thank you. Thank you. Abba, thank you. Ancient of this, thank you. Prince of peace, thank you. Thank you, Father, for offering in this room. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. It is you, O oh God, all the way. It is you, O oh God, all the way. Every other thing is secondary, Father. It is you, mighty one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you're not thanking God for yourself, thank God for me. Thank God for my family. Thank God for all he has done. Thank God for who he is in our lives. Come on, open your mouth and say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's not by might or by power or by strength. We appreciate you, Asian of these. Prince of priests will love you. I am your I am your 
Until the day you will come Jesus, I am yours I am yours Oh God I am yours hey, hey, hey. Till the day you will come Jesus, I am yours You Till the day you will come, Jesus, I am your Say, I am your I am your I am your I am your Hey, till the day you will come, Jesus, Jesus, I am. Congregation on him. Spirits divine attend that prayer.
Come has the wind, O oh, breath of God, O oh, Pentecost, the grace, come make the great salvation, no, oh, why does the whole man raise? Spirit divine, I send a prayer and make a lost why hope descend with all the gracious past. Oh, God, great spirits come. Amen. Hallelujah, shall we be seated? Psalm 23 says, the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. We are not alone. Hallelujah, tell your neighbor you are not alone. Lord God is with you, no matter what you're passing through in the secret place, God is there. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. He goes before me. He goes before me. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. I would fear. I would fear. I'm filled with anointing. I'm filled with anointing. My cups overflowing. My arms overflowing, and no weapon can harm me. No weapon can harm me. I won't fear. I won't fear. Come on, say hallelujah. valleys through the mountains and valleys his joy is refreshing his joy is refreshing he restores my soul That I see His glory, I see His glory face to face, face to face. Say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am not alone. Say
Lord Jesus. Be a drone. Be a drone in Lord our praise. Have your way. Take Rule all the praises. Rule the rise. Holy Spirit. Just want to hallow your name, O God. Emmanuel, God with us. We can feel your presence here already. Thank you for what you have done in three weeks. 21 days in the year 2024. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done to just bring, you, bring us up here. We say thank you, O God. This morning again, Tabernacle with us. Honor your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You can do better than that. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Let somebody say, Amen. Amen. When we pray, we respond. Amen means so be it. Amen. Hallelujah. All that has been pronounced by the heaven, so shall it be. Amen. That's what Amen means. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what your response should be anytime you are prayed for. Amen. Rise on your feet. Amen. I've been asked you to stay. If it is party, you can dance for, for 24 hours. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Holy Ghost is present here. What we are going to have this morning is Holy Ghost party. Amen. And I don't know where you need to be. The Outside party there or the Holy Ghost party? Holy Ghost party. Thank you, choir. You are the best. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is going to be Holy Ghost party here too, this morning. Hallelujah. And somebody will be drunk. <laughs> he said there is no beer here now. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are going to be drunk of the Holy Ghost. Because my God will drench you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Do I hear a good response in the house? This is don't let the enemy push you down or press you down. You are not under pressure because you are in the presence of God. When you are in the presence of God, you cannot be under pressure. And that's what is happening, what is going on here this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not preaching. Amen. You know that. So don't look at me and say the pastor is going to be preaching. The preacher of today, amen. My daddy is in here this morning, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. He's a member of IC Generation, though. Amen. It's not just in, I mean, in Nigeria, seated there. Daddy is a member of. Daddy, they say they don't want your name on the register of IC Generation. You are not, the, you are not the only church. These are the church here. They are not responding. Is a, I said he's a member of, a, of IC Generation. <laughs> ah, show response that you, you, you endorse it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He will be bringing the word. Uh, Daddy is the, so much, so precious to us. So, so, so precious to us in every area. He's concerned over our lives, over our well-being. 
surpasses every other concern. And I will so much appreciate him. Amen. My children, when, when I took them to Nigeria and I took them to his house, when he, unfortunately, mommy was not there. Mommy went to Canada. When they came back, they said, ah, daddy has emptied the house. All the two bars of yam, like 20 two bars of yam, they entered at the trunk of the car. They could not get anything, all the, all the bush meat inside the fridge entered in my house. Again, he carried the, the, the pounding machine. He put it in the car and sent somebody to go and pound jam for us. Have you seen that before? <laughs> he sent a maid, a, a lady, go with them and make sure that this pounding jam is ready. So that one came to our house and make sure that the machine was juiced and pounded jam for us. Hallelujah. It's a man that loves. He loves his own. He gives his own. Anytime I... I, I Hundred thousand. Daddy, I have money. I have money now. Hundred. I said that's your offering. Said, See, that's what Daddy does to it. <laughs> His son. This is your <laughs> offering. I remember when we were small, they would give us offering. When before we leave us, <laughs> offering, offering, offering. When I get to Nigeria, he give me my own offering. <laughs> Hundred thousand. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is here to pour the anointing. I encourage, I encourage the workers. If you might be familiar with Pastor, Pastor Ubadu, but we are not going to look like the Jericho, the people from of Jericho. Elijah was passing for many years; they didn't see anything. Their problem was under their clothes; they tied them. But the younger one came; they cried that day. Hey, man of God. Everything might look beautiful. We might be wearing good clothes. We might be using Mary Kay in our face and our face is looking good. But there is fire inside the clothes. The water is not. That water must change today. The water of your destiny must what? Must change. Every bitter water in your life We'll be switching today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we want to appreciate each time he comes. He passed here once a year. The day we, I've not seen the year he passed here twice. But he's here at this moment. Yeah. Everything that is your issue. The Lord is going to use this vessel this morning. Yeah. To crush them in the name of Jesus. I told somebody we help us say a good amen. amen. So please see him as our Elisha this morning. That we don't need to open. Open up yourself to the heavens. And you will never be the same again. Our daddy is the, is the, is the man in charge of prayer all over the world. For the redeemed Christian church of God. Are you with me? Intercontinental overseer for prayers. I have the pleasure to bring my daddy in the Lord, Daddy Peter Owolawale, to the podium this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you. To God be the glory. Thank you, Pastor, for permitting us to be here today. We don't Take it for granted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As we are standing up, please, we are taking our test from Exodus chapter 3. And Exodus means coming out, relocating, migrating. Are going to be defined the positioning today. Amen. Only the choir said, Amen. Amen. Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priests of Midian, 
and he led the flock to the backside of the desert. And he came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in the flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burned. Verse 4. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do, come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Miracle changer, destiny changer. You are a destiny changer. Come and change our destiny. Our destiny is today. Come and change our destiny. Our destiny is today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name The Lord asked me to tell somebody here. You've been there for a long time expecting it. I don't know that thing. But the Lord asked me to tell you it's coming your way this month. It's coming your way this month. This month. This month. This month. This month. This month. Listen to this. This one is also a woman. They have told you, and the language has devastated your life. And that language is yours, impossible. I don't know the nature of that thing. The Lord asked me to tell you, he has made it possible. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You, you are, are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name Thank is God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, you did it for Moses. For surely 40 years, he was totally in a desert with all kind of incidents that happened to him. 
with all the dreams apparently being truncated. With all the desires apparently being buried. But a day came. He repositioned in true place. You called upon him and he responded. We are here today, oh God, to keep an appointment with you and with destiny. We are expectant. Daddy, we are expectant. And your word said, there is a hand indeed, and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. By your mercy, by your grace, by your divine appointment, Meet your people here today. Amen. Magnify your name today. Amen. Glorify your name today. Amen. There is a depositioning, repositioning that will bring about miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. Let it take place today. Amen. Let there be salvation. Amen. Let there be healings. Amen. Let there be deliverance. Amen. At the end of it all, this hour, let it be said truly. The Lord has met with our knees. And that anointing that breaks you, release it upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say amen louder. Amen. Let somebody shout another hallelujah. Amen. Be seated. God bless you. The passage we have read I said it all. It is possible for a dreamer to be kept in the dungeon where that particular dreamer would think no more hope. Forty years before now, he was spiritually informed that you have been born to deliver a nation. But thereafter, something happened, and something happened, and something happened. A year to 10, 20, 30, 40, had already gone. And the man had become the shadow of himself. Moses by name. He had no hope in himself any longer. Pastor, how do you know that? Uh -uh. Can't you establish your own business for 40 years? You are taking care of the sheep of your own mother, father-in-law. To him, <coughs> he saw it as a useless venture to be himself any longer. Because how come I marry for somewhere and I begin to serve that fellow, taking care of his for 40 years? Uh -uh. But a day came, just like today. The Lord God appeared to him. And the Lord God called him the name he used to call him. Moses, Moses, twice. May I ask you to check the Bible? Wherever the Almighty God calls someone twice, something is about to happen. It reminds me of my mother. When I was very, very young, my mother would say, Bandele, Bandele, how many times have I called you? I know fire is about to fall. It's not the fire of the Holy Spirit. Moses, Moses. You have called people like that before. Ever before Moses, you called Abraham, Abraham, Genesis 22. To Abraham, it means you have passed the test and have now decided to lift you up. 
He called from other people after Moses. Samuel, Samuel. Was to talk to Samuel that the kingdom is about to collapse and you are to take over. He has called several people in the New Testament. Like in the act of Apostle chapter 9. So, so. You told so. You think you are serving me? You're on your way to a fire. He spoke to Simon Peter also. Twice. I'm referring to the people that I'm called twice. Simon, Simon. He says, Satan has desire to have you. That we sit with as a way. But I have prayed for you. That I fail, fail it not. Reconfirming support to Simon Peter. You can go along. No. But the way the man mostly responded, that will tell you that the voice that spoke to him that time, or the voice that was speaking to him, was a familiar voice. The way he responded. He said, Here am I. You can't respond that one if you have not been hearing that voice before and you don't recognize the one that is speaking. Go and check the life of Saul of Tarsus. Particularly in Act of Apostle chapter 9 when you get to about verse 3 or thereabout. Paul didn't respond like that because that voice was not familiar. Paul said, who are you talking to me? But here Moses say, here am I. Because they had that voice 40 solid years ago. Today, the Lord will revisit somebody. Amen. Pastor, I just told us, when we are praying for you, respond to me. I said today, the Lord will revisit somebody. They are going to be a repositioning. You will get your bearing right. I can't hear your hymn louder. I've been permitted this morning to occupy the office of a prophet. To prophesy into your life. Take this service seriously. Throughout this year, you will see wonders. You will experience miracle. You will experience signs. Then you yourself cannot explain glorious that will begin to happen to you. Let's start. There is an event in life known as the fine repositioning. And wherever you discover or you mean a repositioning, you are going to discover that wonders will be produced. But let us know, number one, every repositioning is given back to by divine visitation. So what the Lord God is about to do right now in your life that by his grace it will pay you a visit. Yeah. This power of divine visitation is the one that we enforce the position. That is what happened to Moses first. According to Genesis chapter 3 verse 2, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him. There must be a meeting point between God and man. If you are going to talk about a repositioning. Today, we are looking at repositions for wonders. And listen to how Joseph presented the case. Genesis chapter 50 verse 24. Genesis chapter 50, verse 24. Joseph said to his brethren, I'm about to die now. 
But God will surely visit you. And what you should expect by the time the Almighty God has visited you, He continued by saying, And we bring you out of this land. In other words, you are going to be repositioned. Somebody is here at this hour. You are living the life of slavery. I didn't like the way you said your amen here. Toiling and struggling, your life will become a thing of the past. He said, he said you are going to have a repositioning. But before that one will come to pass, God will surely, that surely should be emphatically noted. In other words, if the visitation are not taking place, don't think about repositioning. You know, that is why when Moses finally arrived in the land of Egypt, and according to Exodus chapter 4, verse 29 to 31, Exodus 4, 29 to 31, the people heard, particularly in verse 31, the Bible says, so the people believed when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, because they remember what their great-great-grandfather told them, that the day you should express this fine the position is when the Almighty God has visited you. I stand upon this exalted altar. The Lord will pay you a visit. Because without the fine visitation, there can be no repositioning. The Lord made the statement that shook Sedekiah. And he wants us to know also today the importance of a divine visitation. Jeremiah 32 verse 5. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 5. He told us, Hezekiah, you will be led to Babylon. And there you will be until I visit you. And listen to what God said. Though you fight with giants, you will not prosper. Say so you will try your best possible to release yourself, to set yourself free. But that can only take place by the time I must have visited you. If I have not, forget about it. Lift up your right hands. This is your hand that are lifted. We witness the praises of divine visitation. It will visit your life. It will visit your marriage. It will visit your destiny. It will visit your social life. Your political life. In the name of Jesus. One of the things the anointing will do in your life today that it will break yokes. Because when God visits a man, yokes must be broken. How many of us are expecting his visitation today? He will pay you a visit. Number two. God has sent me to somebody here today. That he had decided to take some people out of their confused state of life. That is what he did in the life of Moses. Tell a man that was confused. I will tell you Moses was. Totally confused. I stood for God. I decided to fight for God. What have you calling me of me right now? Somebody once asked me a question, Pastor, is this a crime to be faithful to God? And as human beings, from one time or the other, by one time, we get to a particular crossroad in life. 
when we'll be totally confused. When you be tempted to tell the Almighty God, I don't think you are interested in me again. That was when the Almighty God appeared to Moses. I believe was not expecting God that time, but God came. Are you here? You are confused. You are coming out of that wilderness. I told you this hour, God will go to God that permitted me to undo me into go to the office of a prophet. God is prophesying to your life. You are coming out of that wilderness. That what happened to the people of Israel. In Psalm 126, verse 1. Psalm 126, verse 1. When the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. They thought it was a dream. Is it true? Is it true we are no more than rivers of Babylon? That we had experienced in Psalm 137, verse 1 to 4? Is it true? That we can now sing this song in our own land. Is it true that all the people are carried out away captive? They are no more. Is it true that we can dread the way we want to dress? Now we can eat the food we want to sleep. We can sleep the time we want to. We don't need to beg any drugs any longer. Is it true? I don't know whether something had happened to you before and you'll be tempted to pray, Lord. If it's a dream, don't let me wake up. Oh. You are coming into that way. Yes. You are coming to that realm. Yes. Every stranger that has tried to waste your life, they will depart from you now. Yes. Confused states. You remember Nathaniel in John chapter 1, verse 45 to 51. John 1, 45 to 51. It was Philip that told him, Nata, we have seen him. The one the prophets and all the books are talking about, Jesus. Nathanael didn't have a problem with that. But by the time Philip mentioned of Nazareth, he said, Nazareth what? Eh? Then he asked a question, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Many, many has asked you, can any good thing come out of you? They've asked somebody concerning your life, can any good thing come out of her? Can any good come out of him? Hey! The Lord will prove them wrong. I can't hear your amen louder. I thank God like people, for people like Philip. He had no time to argue. You know, when you are talking about the truth, you don't argue. It's when you are trying to prove a fact and figure, you argue. Prove, we prove the same. He simply told Nathaniel, come and see. And by the time he got to Jesus, the first introduction, the first statement of Jesus knocked him down. Oh, an Israel indeed in whom there's no God. He said, eh? How do you know me? Uh, when you were under the fig tree there, I saw you. He said, eh? The fellow was arguing the moment ago, knelt down. You are truly the master, the king of Israel. And Jesus told him, hey, because I tell you that you have not seen anything yet. Too. He said, hereafter, you will see heaven open. Are you here? You are confused. May I speak into your life? The moment of your confusion is gone. Come and say amen louder. I was in a state back home. And a, a pastor heart in another ministry, I was in that state. And uh, we grew up together in 1968 in a village. I mean, we were so small, 10 years. I think I was already 10, I was 10 years. I'm older than him. But he has a sister that's older than all of us. But all of us, that's really great and really boy. In 1968, 
And he said, my sister is there. I said, you mean it? She said, so I said, yes. Can I have his line? She sent it to me. And I called that sister. And she responded. I said, protocol is coming to take you to where I am. And finally, she finally came. She first paused. She could recognize me because if you see me 40 years ago, this is how I am. I don't know the reason why. Since I've been coming here, have I changed? <laughs> I don't know the reason. She recognized me. And then she asked a question. She said, please, so don't be offended. You. I want to ask you a question. I said, yes. Are you not Bandili, the son of uh, Papsela? She spoke in Yoruba. And you call me Bandili, man, yeah, I let Bandili, the son of Papsela. I said, see, she remember me, Tilly, Tilly, back home. I said, I said, yes. She knelt down. He said, Lord, she said, Lord. I trust you before, I believe you before, but today, you are shown to me again. You can bring somebody from down here that there's nothing you cannot do when they come to the matter of promotion. Somebody is here today. You will surprise your generation. I can't hear your amen louder. Number three, that day, God did something for Moses and he has sent me to relieve the pronouncement of you that those who have been discouraged shall be lifted up. Yeah. Discouragement can lead to anything, anything negative including suicidal. You may not believe it that I've attempted suicide three times before I knew the Lord. But in all these attempts, they will call my name, put it down. I will look around. I won't see the value that called it. Ten years after, he said, I'm the one calling you because you must not die. May I speak to somebody here today that there's somebody that is standing by your side. Somebody that has brought life into your destiny. Somebody that is singing, you must and you cannot die. Somebody that is singing, you feel fulfill that destiny. Somebody that is saying it's not over yet. Somebody that is saying, no, when you are, read, when you are there, watching the drama of life, there are stages Act once in one, act once in one, until finally the curtain is closed. May I tell you, God is sending me to somebody here today that the curtain has not yet been drawn. That what happened to Gideon. God appeared to Gideon according to Georgie chapter 6, verse 12 to 16. Georgie 12, I mean chapter 6, verse 12 to 16. And the Almighty God introduced them. The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Mighty man of valor. Gideon said, it appears as if you have missed your address, sir. The way he responded could be quoted at that. Mighty man of valor. Uh. <laughs> and the almighty God didn't stop there. He said, I will use you to deliver. Eh? He said, what are you talking about? To deliver what? The Lord is with you. He said, oh, oh, oh. stop there. Stop there. He truly, the Lord is with me. The Lord with us. Where are the miracles our parents told us about we are now being captured by Midianites. Many of us are here. 
You've heard stories. And you have stories to tell. And you've been listening to testimony of others. And you have been asking, is it true? I have a mandate this hour to make the pronouncement upon your life that your stories are over. Gideon said, have you forgotten my tribe? That is Manasseh. We are the least. Now, the family I come from also is poor in Manasseh. And inside that poor family in Manasseh, I'm the last. And you are now guessing that man of Valor. Valor of Valor. But the Lord made a statement. I will be with you. You should live here today with that confidence that there's somebody who is ready to abide with you, is ready to be with you. Can you call his name? Let me hear you. Jesus. Call his name. Let me hear you. Jesus. Call his name. Let me hear you. Jesus. And number four, he did it for Moses, ready to do it for you. The Lord asked me to tell you that we make a way from your own bus stop. Yeah. You have reached your bus stop, train, your train terminals, and there's no way, not even a crossroad. It's a blocked road. And to turn this way, you don't know where to go any longer. Where do I start? Psalm 127, verse 26 to 31. Listen to what it says. Psalm 107, I beg your pardon. Psalm 107, from verse 26 to 31. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. Can you see up and down? They are so messed because of trouble. They read to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are like and at their wit ends. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble and they bring them out of their distresses. It calms the storm so that their ways were still. Then they are glad because they were quiet. So he guide them to their desired heaven. You freak your bus stop. You freak your terminals. You are there that we head. You should understand the law that is not Jesus is not a way, but the way. And when the way gets to where there's no way, it creates one. That the law we are talking about. Was it two years or three years ago? A couple called for no not one one nation. I don't want to mention the name. And from their voices, you will discover it. God will not allow them to enter the prison. What is happening to you? They say, myself and my husband, our work permit had expired. And we consulted our lawyer. And lawyer gave us the two things. One, two things the lawyer had told to do any of it, we can't. Say, you to stop walking now because you are caught. Number two, pack your bag and baggages and go back home and begin to process visit visa again or whatever. They said, Lord, they say, sir, La Gomelo, what time? We have left home. So we cannot go back home and we cannot walk. And if we do not walk, how can we say to our bees? We tend. Terminals. They call in the afternoon of their time like this, but in the evening where I was, we pray to God. The Lord God himself can create a way when there's no way. 
When it can become the morning of, the, of where I was, it was in the evening of their time. They called back and they were crying. I thought something terrible had happened. I didn't know it was the heart of joy. They said suddenly after that prayer, the government of that nation announced, any of you whose work permit has expired, consider it renewed. There's somebody who can break protocols, who can make a way for you. And that fellow is saying, I will take you out of that mess. I will make a way from your bus stop. Finally, the fifth thing that the Lord did for Moses that day, which I believe God will do for somebody here today, was that God broke his silence. And God asked me to tell somebody here today, I, had, I have decided to break my silence. For 40 years, Moses could not hear anything from all that, that place again. Everything was silent. I believe what I cried and cried and cried and cried, but there was no response. That's why he settled down, doing ridiculous things, married for someone, taking care of the sin of that fellow Abba. But a day came. Just like today, God broke his silence. And again, Moses could hear his voice, Moses, Moses. In Job 34, verse 29, Job 34, verse 29, the Bible says, when God gives quietness, who can make trouble? And when he hides his faith, who can behold him? All the 40 solid years, he kept quiet. All the 40 years, he hid his face. Are you here at this time? And it appears as if God has hidden his face. God has kept quiet silent concerning your matter. He has sent me to you right away. He will break his silence. He will speak to you again. After the creation of the world, he kept quiet. And the enemy made use of that quietness to put all what he had created in confusion. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. It was so beautiful. But he kept quiet. And the enemy surfaced. And the Bible said the work God created was without form and void. Ah! God said, what is this? That's why he spoke again in verse 3. Let there be light. And immediately, the Bible says, the darkness will hear the voice of his power. And will trembling, they be chased out of their hidden places. Every chaos situation in your life will hear his voice. The remnant in your life will hear his voice. Barrenness in your life will hear his voice. That sickness in your system will hear his voice. Concerning your matter, it will break his silence. Ah, it will break his silence. I said, it will break his silence. Psalm 35, 22 to 23. Did thou have seen, O Lord, keep no silence. He said, Did thou, you have seen this. Keep no silence. First 23 say, Stir up yourself. Not that will arise. Do something. Arise. Do something. Many have been running away. Many have been panabited. Many have been cheated. And you wept, you cried, you fasted. And the enemy are having the upper hand. And you say, God, what is happening? The goodness is this. This day 
he will break his silence. He has been speaking with you and to you and for you before. But now it appears as if he's silent. From this moment, he will arise for you again. He will speak to you again. He will speak for you again. He will speak on your behalf again. Ah, abandoned will be remembered. Forgotten will be remembered. Come on, say hey, my louder. And that is the reason why he had decided today to anoint us. To break that yoke. To speak into our life by the virtue of the anointing. A reposition is coming. You will get your bearing right. You will see that star again. It will launch you into that road again. Confusion will disappear. The road that has been blocked will open. Prayer will be answered again. By His grace. No more ridicule. Yeah. And that is the reason why before this anointing probably you had been with him before. You have been his daughter. You have been his son. Suddenly Something happened, something that happened and don't really happen. You are now far away from him. Excuse me. We have no plan B. Except he helps us. And he's asking me to tell you today, come back home. Come back home. Come back home. Come back home. Say, don't allow the enemy to ridicule your life any longer. Like I did for Moses. I've broken my silence. I will help you again. Or well, probably there are people who, are, who have never given their life to the Lord Jesus before. You just heard about him. There have been no personal contact, personal relationship. He's saying it today, my salvation is real. Let's begin to walk together. You are going to see me in action. So we stand, please. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Thank you, Lord. Anointing is extremely peculiar in discovering every chosen individual. Gather 70 elders. God told Moses. And Moses presented the name of those elders before God. And God said, I will come down. From the spirit in you, I will distribute it. Out of these 70, 68 gathered. Two were in the tabernacle. I was surprised. When that particular power came out of Moses, it descended on the state and located the two who were not present there, wherever they are, because they have been presented. God had marked them, these are mine. Anointing is very sensitive. 
And he knows the people who are truly of God. And I don't want anyone to miss it today at all. That is why very compulsory for you to declare to Jesus right away and say, Lord, let your blood cleanse my sins away. You say, Lord, let my name be written in the book of life. That is your word. So if you are here, you want to say that one to God, you want the Lord to save you today. Lift up your hand wherever you are. We love to pray for such people. Just lift it up, lift it up. You want the Lord to save you today. Lift it up, lift it up. This is a desire. This is a decision between you and your God. Lift it. Let your hand be lifted above your head, please. Let God see those hands. And say after me, please. Jesus, I come to you today to surrender my life to you. Let your blood clear my sins away. Let my names be written in the book of life. And the power to serve you to the end release upon me now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, the author will give you a card. Make sure you feel it and let it from it to a person. Those of you watching online, I believe you have done the same. The contact details will be shown on the screen thereafter. Make sure you contact the pastor. God bless you. Now, you want to reconcile yourself to God right now. Rededicate yourself. You lift up your hands also, wherever you are. You know something happened, something happened, something happened. Then you basleted. Ah, the Lord is saying, I will accept you again. Lift up your hand wherever you are. I'd like to pray for such people. Daddy, all the hands that are raised, they are ready to come back home. Reconciliation. Making a U-turn. Daddy, please, whatever has been the strange wind that has carried them away, let that wind stop now and bring them back to yourself, to the glory of your name. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say him louder. Amen. In a minute or two, I want you to pray. Please, pray that prayer fervently. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, Father, just the way you visited Moses, visit me today. Pray, 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 pray. And let God hear your own voice. That the way you visited Moses, visit me today. 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 Pray that prayer with all your heart. Break a laraka satayopo. Shake a laraka tantarabakotebo. Visit me today. Visit me today. Just the way you visited Moses. Visit me today. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. He had decided to touch you. Ah, thank you, Father God. Listen to me. Within 24 hours, you will understand the meaning of this particular service. I mark my words. Within 24 hours. By this time tomorrow. Some of us are here listening. The Lord asked me to tell you, you will say the tears of joy.
Thank you, Father. Let's bring oil out. Thank you, Jesus. The choir will give us The pastor just reminded me the order of the anointing. The altar will be, we begin to experience fresh anointing. Because it is this altar that the power is released to alter whatever the Lord don't want in our life. Whatever the Lord doesn't want, the altar had the capability of altering it. So we anoint the altar for fresh oil. Then we anoint the four corners of this church for fresh oil. So that whenever you enter here, you begin to feel the presence of the Lord. And thereafter, we anoint you. So, choir, solemn, worship. Highly Holy Ghost inspired song. Praise God. Amen. And be at last. You may stand or you sit down to enjoy the presence of the Lord. Maybe you just sit down or it is the turn to ask you to come out for the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Father to child, from your spirit to my spirit. Lighted by your word With your word of life That's how I come alive That's how I change my world Whoo! Father to child From your spirit to my spirit Lighted by your word. Sing with the bread of life. With your bread of life. That's how I come alive. That's how I change my word. Let's rise, let's rise. The power of God is in this house. Just let's rise and be in the space. Your name. Let your Holy 
spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind sing out all my curse unto you we're all calling Jesus Jesus certain prophetic declarations. From the exercise that are just taking place. Join me in faith by stretching forth your hand to receive something. Hereafter, we anoint the ministers and the minister will anoint every one of you. Then, we are going to make another declaration. Here, O oh God, is your presence. And in your presence, the Bible says there is fullness of joy and pleasure forever. By the virtue of the anointing that have been released upon this altar, let your fire keep on burning. Yeah. The Bible says, the altars are ever be burning upon the altar will never be put off. The fire of miracles, the fire of signs and wonders, the fire of breakthrough, the fire of the establishment of the word of God. The fire that consumes whatever is not of God. The fire that purifies. Keep it burning yeah. upon this altar. Yeah. And from the four corners of this church that have been anointed, we, are, we declare right now, we are saying, yes. this church here is a no-go area to demonic activities. Yes. Every demonic power 
that try to enter here will be roasted. By the fact of this anointing, we close the door against barrenness. We close the door against toiling. We close the door against sweating. We close the door against sickness. That is anointing that have been released to the four corners of this church is an open door to success. Yeah. Open door to fruitfulness. Yeah. Open door to breakthrough. Yeah. Open door to answered prayers. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. And by this anointing in the four corners of this building, it is hereby declared because on Mount Sion's deliverance on holiness and children of Jacob's are possessed their possessor. Whenever your children enter here, they possess their possessor. Throughout this year and beyond, we declare that the presence of the Lord will be here. The glory of the Lord will be here. The anointing of God will be here. When the sick enters here, they will experience healings. Those in darkness, when they enter here, they will see light. Here we become the sister of signs and wonders and miracles. Thank you, Father. God. Lord, make our hand of fire. Let it surround this place. Every one of your children, whenever they enter here, let the sign of protection be upon them. Paul experienced it and said, as fault, let no man trouble me. For I carry on upon my body the mark of Christ. So shall you be. And it's done. Yeah. Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Come and say him a louder. Yeah. Our pastor will be anointed, and we are not all of you. Then there will be a special pronouncement upon your life. Oh, thank you, Father. No one meets you and remains the same. Burdens are lifted in encounter with you. Oh, you are dependable, Jesus. So in a change more dependable, Jesus. No one meets you and remains the same. Burdens are lifted in a counter with you. Also, please arrange them, arrange them. Oh, you are dependable, Jesus. So give a change to more dependable. Jesus, sing you are dependable, you are dependable, Jesus, Jesus. hey, so again I tell you more, dependable, Jesus, dependable, dependable God, it doesn't matter what comes my way, God. Lift your voice, lift your hands, say intentional. Hey, intentional God. Say everything, everything is working up for my good. Hey, hey, dependable, dependable God.
sing you are good you are
this place we worship you we worship you you are here touching every soul we worship you we worship you. Come on, sing it. Sing Waymaker this morning. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the dark. Sing my God. That is who you are. see him he's working even when i don't feel him he's working you never stop you never stop even you never stop sing even even when i don't see him he's working behind the scenes Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name That's a message the Lord has me to release and you form a word of pronouncement. It's recorded in Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 20 to 22. I quote, Your son shall no longer go down. Your mom will not withdraw himself. The Lord will be your everlasting light. And the days of your morning shall be ended. Also your people shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in this time. This year is a glorious year. It's a leap year. The year begins to leap. Flying. Succeeding. Breaking through. Let your hymn be louder. So lift up your two hands.
by the authority of the word of God, I hereby command your son to begin to rise. I hereby decree into your life, you will never witness your sunset. The glory of the Lord that the Lord has decided to release upon you will not be taken away. All that the Almighty God has surrounded your life with as a form of glory will not be taken away. You will never experience any downward movement this year. You will never go back this year. By his grace, as the Lord lives and as his spirit lives, your son will no more go down. Your moon will not withdraw itself. The Lord God will be your everlasting light. And according to the word of God, where we have read, though you are very small now, by the end of this year, you become great. Greatness in the recent, in every aspect of your life, in your marital life, in your social life, in your academic life, in your career life, in your kids and rage, you will be great! The Bible says, all of you shall be righteous. This year, you will experience the touch of God. In your life, there will be no pollution. In your life, there will be no pollution. Your system will not be polluted. Your body will not be polluted by any sickness. By His grace, throughout this year, you will experience the glory of the Lord. And you serve the Lord to the end. This generation, we experience the blessing of God through you. Ah, you be a blessing to your generation. The Lord will impart your life. Go and begin to succeed. Go and begin to be a blessing to others. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. That yoke is broken. That pain is gone. That bad dream is cancelled. That noise you have been hearing, that noise that has been creating a particular fear in your life is silenced. Thank you, Father God. God asked me to tell you, a woman here, I don't know whether it's physical or whatever, but he asked me to tell you, no more miscarriage. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Lord go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and bless him. The Lord is great. The Lord is good, wonderful, marvelous, glorious. Go ahead and bless him. Lift us hands and just worship God.
just magnify him this morning. Wave to him and say thank you. Thank you for heavenly visitation. We give you praise and we give you all honor. All glory, all majesty, all praises belong to you this morning. In the name of Jesus. There's nothing we can add to this. We have felt your presence. We have seen you in action. We have seen your glory already. So you be glory. Before that is stands, I mean, rise up. Just lift up your hand and just bless him. He that watered must be water. A liberal soul must be made fat. That heaven we cause his bliss to come upon him afresh. Release grace afresh. The power of God afresh. The anointing of God afresh. We thank you. That height you are taking him to. But I take him beyond. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, your grace will never diminish. Your power will never diminish. In the life of your son. Help us. Keep him. Keep him for us, oh God. Keep him. Even unto your days, oh God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand unto the most high God. And declare it shall be permanent. All that you have done today. Devil, you cannot contaminate it. Declare it, declare it. Devil, you cannot contaminate it. Wicked one, you cannot remove this out of my life. Power of God become more solid in my life. Defense from heaven. Fire of God in every way. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, continue. All that could not finish yet, Father, continue. Release them. Let them overflow. In, let them drench us. Let them drench your church. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. We surround ourselves with the edge of fire. The edge of fire that the enemy can never penetrate. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Please don't be, we are going to share grace. We are on time. Don't worry, we are on time. We are going to share grace very soon. Amen. But I want them to show, I was telling the workers something uh, this morning and I was telling them, I began to see another level of grace upon daddy's life. I've known daddy forever. I've known him forever. Amen. Since the days of little beginning. But, hey, hold on. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. And I was telling them, I, I, said, I said, two years ago when he came to, he didn't ask me, I was the one that I said, give me this download. All my ministers were there. I said, hey, sh daddy, can you let me share this? Amen. And uh, two years when he came and he told me about the vision. Uh, he said, oh, I'm planning to do this. The prayer warrior was already uh, there's a program known as prayer room and unbelievable things are happening in that group in that prayer uh, room unbelievable he told me of uh, engine that knocked you know Nigerian cars engine knocked while they are traveling and they put a prayer room program upon the engine the engine came up again have you seen that before unbelievable things that we would <laughs> nobody would we ever imagine Happening, amen. And two years ago, when he came in January, like this, he always come in January, and he was telling, sharing the vision with me. And we are saying, hey, hey, okay, this is the way it's going to look like. I would, I thought probably in another maybe five years. But last year, when he came, he said, they laid the hand, they, they just laid the foundation. This January 6 has been commissioned, not just one. This just 12 months. I'm, I'm talking of billions of dollar, I mean, Naira uh, project. That is, when he was sharing it with me, they have not drawn this two years ago. They have not drawn. Daddy, you didn't know this, how it's going to look like that time. <laughs> you are, maybe you, you are you perceive it in the spirit, but they have not drawn the, 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 the architectural something. They have not. He was telling me of the studio, studio. Studio was what we are talking about. But beyond studio is what came up. 
That's the cereal you are, you are looking up with about three colors. Amen. The next one is the prayer and meditation center. Mercy. The, the, the most impressive and uh, the wonders of it all. This thing is sitting on water. And built within 12 months. Not redeem money. It didn't take a dime from General Vars, yeah? Or from the account of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Nigeria. The people that they have been prayed for, the people that have joined the prayer ring, hallelujah, they began to bring money. That's billion naira project. In 12 months. Not this one, which was one I was, I was thinking. But, <laughs> hallelujah. Look at what happened. Hallelujah. There is a grace upon this man. <laughs> I don't know whether you recognize that. They bought 21 million Naira generator from the inception. By the time they finish everything now, that generator cannot carry anything. <laughs> they will have to go and buy another 70 million generator. Amen. Hallelujah. If this is built in, I mean, in America, we will, we will say, we, we, we will we'll be happy. Sir, I covet the grace. <laughs> I covet the grace again. I covet the grace again. Hallelujah. I covet the grace again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you see good things, please see. I, 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 there's a place there that she showed me. You know, it's showing me because I'm in Sion, number one. Number two, this is the, this is the studio. War standard studio. It showed me a place where if they said this is America, you will never believe it's not America. All the gadgets, the headphone, the screens that uh, those receiving calls, all of them equipped to the teach. He was telling me each of those screens, I think seven million. No, that's one. Hallelujah. All glory belongs to God. All honor belongs to God. This is, this is the studio. This is just the studio. Amen. Whereby they, they broadcast all over the world. I don't know how many millions are on that on that uh, platform, but I have been with him, and it was about how many millions are? Huh? Eight point something million at a time listening. Hallelujah. There is grace in redeem. Amen. And there is grace for every follower of redeem. And we've God has planted you in redeem. Please stay there. There is nowhere you need to go again. Hallelujah. We have the promises. The promises they told us when we were youth. I wasn't even going to youth. I was a baby. We started hearing it. We never knew it would happen in our own time. But beyond that is what we are seeing. That you dedicated this place. Amen. It's not just sanctuary. Hallelujah. Dedicated this place uh, in January 6th. This place, the ground was broken December 2022. 2023, they built everything. Hallelujah. January 6th, it was inaugurated by Daddy Gio. All glory belongs to God. Why don't you just appreciate God? So, so I told the minister, I said, I, I said Daddy, I have, I have said certain things, so uh, can we uh, uh, please tell them? And he gave some other testimonies. Amen. That we appreciate the grace of God over your life. And the power of God, raw power of God, manifesting out of you, sir. In the name of Jesus. We are not taking you for granted. You've been coming here for, uh, for, for years. And each time, what we've just done here, right now, we started, we had that that to his visitation in 2020. That was the year of coronavirus. Coronavirus has not broken out January 2020. And the four corners of the church was anointed just like it is right now, like we have done today. 
Nobody died in Asia. I didn't have to visit anybody in the hospital. I never heard that any one of us caught corona. We are not, look at your back, we are not, we are not few. But I know of churches of, uh, of 20 people, 25 people that died. All glory belongs to God. So, sir, we salute you, sir. And we say the grace of God will never depart out of your life. In that, look at it. He's, stand, he's standing on water. That swamp. I, I know that place. It's a stone stone from where I live in, in the camp. I can walk down there. So I know the place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And he's looking good. I would have looked at the footage here. Amen. So that I can see the big. Hallelujah. When I go home, I will go there first. Amen. Daddy, me and you are going there. When, we are, when I get to. <laughs> yeah, you have relocated your officer. Right? Is your office right there? I'm coming to meet you there. No problem. I'll, you are you are coming with me. Daddy, be expecting a lot of visitors. They are coming with me. Amen. Give God the praise this morning. Give God the praise. Give him all honor. Give him all praises in the name of Jesus. It's time to give our tight all tighters. Please rise up. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of us have been blessed this morning? You, 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 you bless God that you, are, you, you didn't miss today's service. All titles, please come out. Let's do it fast. Let's do it fast. Let's do it fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I bless all these titles. I ask, oh God, that your grace come upon them the more. That your anointing will never dwindle in the name of Jesus. Please open your heaven unto them. Bless them and bless them tremendously. That they will not even have enough room to take the blessing in the name of Jesus. More of your grace, more of your power, more of your strength. Open the door the more in the name of Jesus and let it be well with your children. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. You are blessed. 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 In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. 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 You are blessed, sir. You are blessed, sir. You are blessed, sir. You are blessed, sir. You are blessed, ma. You are blessed, daddy. You are blessed, son. Dios le bendiga. Amen. You are blessed, ma. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed, sir. You are blessed, ma. You are blessed, sir. In the name of Jesus. Please go on our platform and just uh, fulfill, fulfill your side of the covenant with God. Pay your tithes. Amen. And the heaven will bless you in the name of Jesus. You will rise this year in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At, uh, uh, okay, let's take the offering. Amen. And uh, take the offering. Then you take that in. Mm. Amen. Take. Amen. Let's rise. Let the church rise. Amen. Amen. Let's be on our feet. After we, we have a, a birthday celebration, thanksgiving. Amen. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the honor, Almighty God. Only you deserve the glory. Hey, only you deserve the honor, Almighty God. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the honor, Almighty God. Only you deserve the glory. Hey, only you deserve the honor. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the honor, Almighty God. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the honor, Almighty God. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. They are we never forget. How tall I wander in darkness away. Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender compassion is red. He met the need of my heart. Child of this lady with joy. I am telling, he made all the darkness he found. Heaven, heaven, get down and glory be mass. When I the cross, my Savior made me oh, My sin, my sin, why wash away? 
From the top, oh, what a tender compassion is red. He made a need of my heart. Shine on his penny with joy. I am telling, he made all the darkness depart. Heaven, heaven can down and glory fill my soul. Hey, when I that was my savior made me. My sin wash away, sin was wash away. I'm a night was done today. Heaven came down and glory fill my Come, let's praise the Lord. Your dance unto the Lord. Come, let's praise the Lord. Around. Let us praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, never, my God, He is the same. He never changed, He never changed. From eternity to eternity, from me, my God. Everybody praise Him. Jehovah, the King of Kings. Jehovah. Father, we bless this offering. Oh, please bring your time, I mean your offering. If you still have your offering, amen. Maybe I stopped. I stopped the music too early. Oh yeah, Imam Mubaw. Imam Mubaw, Imam Mubaw. If you still have your offering, it will not it will not it, it will it will not be a good thing for you to take your offering back home. Amen. After all this blessing. Amen. Father, bless this offering. We release the fatness of the heart upon this offering. The breeze of heaven over this offering. In the name of Jesus. Let this bring a lot to the life of your children. But as they go this week, oh God, grace will go with them. Open door, you will experience. Heaven shall open over your life. In the name of Jesus. Grace follow you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus. And when you are returned, you are returning with a lot of thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. After we have done what I want to do, sit down. Uh, we, will, we will celebrate Sister Abidemi Oye Wale. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is her birthday. Amen. Hallelujah. This, again, hey, can all the ushers sit down? Usher, go and find a place to sit. Amen. <laughs>